Okay, uh, we're going to be discussing how we're going to change this carburetor to a dual carburetor that uses gas and also petrol. So follow me as we go. Can we please now remove the carburetor? Just follow this thing on how to remove your carburetor at all. There are some screws there. Make sure you have a 10 spinal to do this. It's as easy as that. Can you do that again? Put the carburetor back. I'm trying to let you see how to remove the carburetor, the old carburetor in your generator. Okay, can you now do it easily so that people can see at home? All right, now we've removed the carburetor. Oh. The next step now is for us to change the carburetor to a dual carburetor. Here is the dual carburetor. Uh, now we're going to take this carburetor and fix it into the space available in the generator. Now we want to put the new carburetor, the dual carburetor. As simple as ABC. You can see we can also still connect the pipe to the foil tank, but this does not mean it's going to use the foil tank. Make sure you put all the packings back as we are doing here. Then you now tight have it tight it well as we are doing here. Make sure everything is sealed and tight. Anybody can do this. It's as easy as ABC. Make sure you have the right tool to use. Uh, we've round up this section. 
nice and easy so the next step is for us now to connect the dual carburetor to the gas cylinder which we are going to do now follow us now we are trying to put the holes into the dual carburetor Make sure it's tight so that the gas will not uh, come out from that very end. Make sure it's sealed and tight. So the other way around, you connect the cable, the hose I mean, to the gas cylinder. Make sure it's tight and check if there's any leakage. Now everything is set. So what we need to do now is to make sure the, the fuel tank is off. As you can see, the fuel tank here is off. Please, can you remove the foil tank uh, cable or uh, pipe? I mean, okay. So you can see we're not feeding, we're not feeding the generator with foil. So what we're going to do now is to turn on the gas. So we've turned on the gas. So. So now we'll try to start the generator. So now we want to turn on the generator. We'll turn on the gas, remember? And uh, the fire tank is off. So can you please turn on the generator now? Huh? As you can see, it's working perfectly working perfectly important thing about this is that it does not bring out smoke and uh, it does not affect the ecosystem so as you can see this is the exhaust you can see there is no smoke coming out no smoke there is no smoke the generator is working and there is no smoke coming out 